So here's my little setup in my bonus room. So I had built uh, this from a kit. And it's probably changed some since I built it, but uh, they kind of reboxed it. And at the time, the model was completely different. I just went online and found the most current configuration and kind of kit bashed it to make it what it is now. But again, they've probably moved some modules around since. Everything is 144 scale. Then I can't remember where I got this, but it's a basically a collector's. Um, they're numbered. It's got a pin from every mission. We got the uh, space shuttle Endeavor. It's really cool because you can put batteries in it or plug it in and it lights up. Um, and then I got the pins from the different missions from the Mercury to the Gemini. Uh, I did get the command module from all three, the uh, Mercury, Gemini, and um, Saturn, or what else would it be called, and Apollo. Uh, and I got these little coins that say they have a tiny bit of metal from, I don't know, one of the spacecrafts. I'm sure it's like not even a grain's worth, but anyway. Um, so what did I do different that I would like to share? The one guy looks like he's supposed to be on the ladder, so that's what I did. Um, I can't remember if it came with this little rod or not. And I want to say there was already a hole right there. But, yeah, this is this is something I, I did. I carefully took a, a pin vise, which if you don't know is a very small device that holds very small pins um, or very small drill bits I should say and drilled into the moon base and into his foot because I got tired of him falling over okay and the other thing that I wanted to show real quickly if I can do this without busting it this is the emergency eject system basically there's four rockets around the upper side of this up by my thumb and it would it would pull the three astronauts and this capsule away from the launch device if uh, if anything should happen now what I didn't like it lines up here as should be but you can see it's not going anywhere but I still want to I still want to separate it right I'm trying to do all this one-handed so that shows any kind of dexterity so I very carefully, I can't remember the name of these magnets, but those they're, they're really super strong. I'm going to make an abortion out of the name. Like, is it starts with an M or an N? You'll know, you, I mean, you've been on these shows, these Mythbusters. I know you know what I'm talking about. So what I did is I came up here where the heat shield meets the chrome portion and very carefully worked a hobby knife around the edge of that until I could get them to pop apart, holding my breath the whole time. Um, it's like a Nia, Nia something magnet. They're like the strongest magnets. And you can see approximately how big... See, it's exposed here, but it blends in so nicely. I took my time to drill that hole and put that magnet in just deep enough. I want to say there's like two of them just to give me that much more magnet field. And then you can't see this one at all because it's in the middle. And I think if anybody could appreciate that kind of detail, uh, it would be you. So um, it has to be lined up. Here's where dexterity comes in again. Where is, oh, it's on, of course it's on the opposite side. Of course. Okay, there it is. So you see, it's not going anywhere, and when you get it lined up, it just it just stays put. There I go, dropping it and everything. But um, you might try that. I mean, the hardest part, like I said, was just getting the heat shield to pop off from the the chromed upper portion of the the command module. 
and once that was done I can't remember if it was just flat there in the center but I took my time to make sure I drilled a perfect hole in the center and I mean it's it'll stay yeah so I just wanted to share that those, those are just two little improvements and like I said if, they, if they're going to give you a fixed piece here and then the one that folds up I've got up in here but to me it I mean it's a beautiful model but really you can't add the ascent module you know you got a second you got two landing uh the the base portion why not throw in just a second one of the ascent modules that way it could be sitting in its happy little home up here and then this is like its own separate display and uh even though we, you can't see it unless i open it all that's in here is the folding leg portion so just wish they would have put that on separate and if you haven't attached it already the one thing I did on both of these is when this was flat is I put the tiniest bow in it and I'll tell you why because I did not want it's air conditioned in here I did not want over time that double side tape to loosen or whatever and this to want to pull away so and I'm talking a very very slight curve in this thing very slight so you look at it on edge and you just barely see a curve and then that way when I press that down and I pressed and held it for several minutes, um, I've not had any problems. I've had these things for years up here. I can't remember when they made them. But this one and especially the space shuttle. Yeah, I wish I would have went ahead and put the lights on it. I had batteries in it, but I took them out because I didn't want the batteries to, you know, over time they start to break down and uh, leak. I did not want that to happen. So, so when this is together, that command module is not going to fall off. But I think you can just kind of appreciate why I did what I did between that and the astronaut. Any little bump, and he'd be on his backer side. So that's why I did that. But these are highly collectible, especially that space shuttle. I've seen now. I'm not saying people are buying it at this. But I've seen them upwards of five grand, and I know I paid somewhere on twelve hundred for mine. And uh, I mean, I've bought and sold a lot of things, but this setup here with all three of these at the end of my bonus room, which is a pretty good sized bonus room, um, I just love it. Yeah, I, I can't bring myself to sell this. I don't care what happens. Um, it's just a piece of American history and ingenuity to be able to put all this together and do th do things that have never been done before on such a tight uh, time schedule and with very, very little uh, loss. Unfortunately, the... Um, Apollo 1 mission with the fire because everybody was you know in a rush but when you think about all that we accomplished as a country and that was over 50 years ago unreal it's just crazy what we can do if we put our minds to it hope you enjoyed it